Everybody, just to remind you, I have been on that stage for my Lemmy Live show, which is in uh, the, the London one. You know, the one that was five grand for lights. The one that made that made a loss. It made a loss. Well, after the production company took the fucking uh, their costs, uh, took their uh, cut. They took the cut not of the profits but of the gross. Can you believe it? Um, and then tried to take it out of my daft wee stories, fucking Edinburgh show money, which they also produced. Can you believe that? Had to get in touch with my agent and say, "Go and uh, sort this out," and they sorted it out. It's the uh, Apollo. You know, we get live at the Apollo. Uh, made a loss. I had to sell two for one tickets, basically, uh, to try and fill it up a wee bit at the back. And even then, it didn't sell it. Five grand for lights. So I was looking through the fucking spreadsheet because I was like, how the fuck is this? Before I was trying to work it out. Because what happened, everybody, was I did four nights, Darfi stories at the Edinburgh International at the Edinburgh International Conference Centre, I think it's called. Really nice place for these revolving fucking seats, revolving like a door that goes like that and these seats fucking revolve like some sort of game show. It was something like a thousand people in there, something like that for four nights. Slats got sold out. That was sold out. Four nights, me then just did the book thing, just me by myself and then did a book sign after it. Was I doing a book sign after it? I think it was. That was at the Fringe in August. And it was produced by some production company. And then... Then I did... August, September. And then in September, I did another two Lemmy Live shows. That is like Lemmy Show Live. Um, can I repeat the show that I did in Armadillo in, in the January of that year? And um, uh, it was... Uh, Manchester, or sorry, Salford. Don't want to get involved. And um, and then the week after that was London, I think, or a few days after that was London. Um, couldn't uh, couldn't sell it. Out. Couldn't sell it. Out. Anyway, so then the the payment for the whole thing. I didn't get the Fringe show, the four nights payment, and then get the payment for Lemmy Live. They took about a month to pay me, or maybe even longer, I can't remember. I was waiting quite a while. I was thinking, uh, I, I think I said, what's happening? Oh, well, it's just that, you know, the Fringe takes a while, you know, got lots of shows on, and they did, they got lots of shows they're producing, so, you know, get get the whole thing to you uh, in one one. You'll get up, get that out to you, said the production company. Something like that, right? And then eventually got the money. And they did it all in one one big payment. One payment for the whole you know, the whole thing that is for the Daffy stories, four nights sold out in Edinburgh, and Lemmy Live, an unrelated show. Um they did the whole thing. And um and I looked at the, 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 the money and I knew we hadn't sold it uh, London and in Manchester and I knew it cost Mayor to produce their shows with Mayor cast, uh, with cast members with fucking lights and, you know, some kind of operating a fucking spotlight and um, it, just all the stuff that goes with that as opposed to me on the stage with, with a fucking seat, a glass of water and a book. Um. But still, I was looking at it like that. Looking at the payment, I was like, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's good money and everything. But I was like, something's not right here. And they said, oh, that that's the whole payment. That's like for everything, you know, all, all rolled in. So it's just like one payment. And I was like, looking at it, and I was thinking, right, how many, how many were at the what was the capacity for um, the the Edinburgh venue? It was something like twelve hundred. Was it nine hundred? Was it twelve hundred? I can't remember. I was like, the capacity is something like twelve hundred. Twelve hundred folk, four nights. You're talking about maybe th five thousand people. 
how much per ticket? Right, and then you got the costs, fringe, co- that goes to them, that goes to them, cost of that, cost of that, cost of that. I was thinking, even, you know, and you did, you sort of count up in your head, like, even if that was just like 60% of that money or something, you're like, and I thought to myself, this seems like less money for the whole fucking thing, the Edinburgh Daffy Stories thing and the Lemmy Live ones down south. It seems less than what I was expecting for just the fucking Edinburgh ones. It's like something's not, something's not right here. And I looked at the fucking spreadsheet. I think I asked for it. I, said, I says, can I have a you know breakdown uh, you know the, the, the you know the costs and things like that? And they sent it they sent it through. And I fucking looked through this fucking spreadsheet myself. Right? Me, miserable jock. Miserable, uh, uh, money-grabbing, tight-fisted Scottish person. I was like, let me see that. They were English, by the way. That's nothing to do with it, though. Well, let's see that. <laughs> As usual, English lot taking money and I'm the one double checking to see how much money I've been fucking, you know, uh, has been taken off me and I get called the miser. That's what it probably came for, by the way. This this whole thing, you know, Scrooge McDuck and all that. That's what it probably came for. Probably came for that. Rem doing south. Sponging after us. And I was going like, um, sorry, hold on. You said that would cost this amount but you've actually taken twice as much. I all right. Yeah, all right. All right. Mistake. All right. Oof. Oof. All right. It's a mistake. <sighs> Checking every penny. Checking every... Um. That That's not an impression of the production company, by the way, doing this like that. So I checked it. I was going through the spreadsheet. I was like, in the spreadsheet, it was one big spreadsheet for, for all the shows, the, the the book fucking thing, and the Lemmy Live one. Lemmy Live one, again, being Lemmy Show Live. Two unrelated shows. Unrelated. But it was on one big spreadsheet. Edinburgh, staff, Lemmy Live. And then there was maybe another thing about the Edinburgh one after it. So slightly mixed up. I was like, hey, wait a minute. I was like, right, where's, where's, it wasn't like, there's a tab, Edinburgh, there's a tab, Manchester, there's a tab, London. So I was like, you know, it's like, it was like the costs of all the shows. It was like, the, the, and the ticket sales for all the shows. I'm like, right, wait a minute. Right, so there's, there's, there's the Edinburgh one, right? There's a, that's Daffy Stories, Daffy Stories, Daffy Stories. There's Lemmy Life, ignore that. Right? And I'm fucking doing like a kind of new spreadsheet. I'm counting up with a calculator. Gone like that. Right, so that's that. That's that money. That's that there. That's that. And I'm like... Daffy, Daffy Stories has got me more money than this final payment. What the fuck is going on here? I was like, what, what's going on? And I read it again, and I read it again. I was like, "What?" Counting with a calculator, well done, Excel. Well, I might have, I might have just sort of cut and shoved it to the fucking side, but I'm not going to start doing a, you know, I'm just counting up fucking quickly. There's only about ten or fifteen fucking entries. I'm not going to go out right. Let's take all that and do that and do fucking sum with that cell with that cell. Um, I said, "Look at it." I was thinking, "No, something's the fucking right here." And I just had a, a, a glance at the rest of the spreadsheet and I've seen like the costs of this and the costs of that. And one fucking thing popped out of me, lighting or something for the London one, uh, Apollo. And it was like five bastard and fucking grand. I think it might have included like the rigging and maybe the, the crew to put it up or, you know, set it up. Five fucking grand for the lights. Uh, and the Apollo for for the lighting setup. That's to rent the lights. Not to buy. I didn't. I don't own lights. I don't own five thousand pounds worth of fucking lights. That's to rent them, 
until he attached them to a rig or rent the rig and for a guy, you know, the guys to put them up and all the rest of it. We're not talking about like for three guys on fucking spotlights and paying them their wages and all the rest of it. It's like f- five fucking grand for lights? I was like, fuck me, man. Kate says, our show we just did in May was 24 grand for lighting and techs. Fucking hell, man. That's actually not bad, says Side. Right, right, see for somebody like me who isn't used to all that. See, saying five grand. Now, I'm not saying, do we really need to spend five grand on fucking lights? Can we not have the audience just hold the torches and their fucking phones up? You know, I'm not, I'm not a complete fucking miser. I get it, things cost money. But I was like, fucking hell. And then the, the whole, I've got to go over the game. The whole thing was, the whole issue was the cut that the production company took, which is whatever it was, 10%, 20%, 15%, 12.5%, can't remember. I don't know how this got worked to it. I don't remember agreeing to it, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not very good with things like this. It was, they took the percentage out of the, the gross. They took the percentage out of, uh, it wasn't out of the profits. It was out of the tickets. So the ticket money comes in. They get a cut of that. And then the rest of the money is spent on the show. And then I'll get a cut of the profit. So is that normal? I don't think it is. I don't know. So regardless, they get paid. So isn't he... It isn't very important to them that this is a profitable uh, show or that you 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 organise things well in advance to get some sort of deal or anything like that. It doesn't matter. They're getting the same amount, whether it's, um, you know, whatever. So, they, obviously, they, they want people buying tickets because then they would get fuck all if that didn't happen. But um, I wasn't a cut of the profit, and I was like, right, and so, because it didn't sell out, and um, because we're doing for, like fucking two for one with the fucking London show and all the rest of it by the end of it, um, the way it worked out was basically the London one was like, I don't know, break even. It was like uh, break even, but then because they then took a cut of that, it was effectively a loss. It was effectively a loss. The London thing. And so the big problem was that I was like, wait a minute. So if they dipped into my profitable Daffy Stories show, have they dipped into the money for an unrelated show to fund their cut of this other show. And I said to my agent, I said, go to check this. Is, that, is this right? I said, is it that it's got just sue them? This is like fucking 10 years ago, practically. Um, I said, wait a minute. I said to my agent, is this right? Going to check this. Because it looks like what they've effectively done is I've done my Daffy story show and let's let's say they just paid me immediate, immediately for that. Let's say that and I've got that money in my pocket. And then they do a show a month later with me but uh, only breaks even. Then they take their cut and they go um, and they walk up to me and put their horn in my fucking pocket and go, I'm just going to take some of your money to pay for this. I feel like my pockets have been fucking dipped here. I mean, and I said to my agent, is this the way it works? That if the show makes a loss, that the performer, not the producers, but the performer or the, the writer or director or whatever, they pay the money. Am I fucking liable? And the agent was like, no, no, something's, something's happened here. We'll, we'll, we'll take a look. 
and it's something like they, they spoke to the production company. There was like a guy that I was dealing with, but there was like, there's a boss boss. And the boss went like, oh, sorry about that and gave us some money. It still didn't make any fucking, they couldn't make it fucking make money, but, you know, they, they sorted all that out. Um, but I was like, that's not right. So um, apparently that wasn't right. What happened wasn't right. Shouldn't have happened. But it's only because I'm a uh, miserable bastard that I was looking at it going like, oh, that's, that's not right. So I was, I was in the right, I was in the right, basically. It's not like I made some sort of uh, strange financial fucking demand, like, oh, he, he doesn't get it, he doesn't get how it works. Uh, chuck him a bit of money just to fucking keep him fucking quiet or shut him up. Apparently you just don't do that. Um, I, because that's effectively like going to my fucking bank account and just go, oh, I've actually got to, I've got to take, a, take back some of that fucking money for that unrelated job. So... So there you go. Five grand for lights. Five grand for lights. So everybody, this is the meme build. Is the bet the bet has been done into it? So everybody, let's go on with the meme build now. Sad, such a sad story. See, that's why I'm very, uh, I'm especially grateful to be, uh, uh, be doing this, because see all this other stuff, see like the live stuff. I liked, uh, I liked when I was doing the fucking shows and all the rest of it, but um, it can be confusing about. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, Scruffy. Scruffy speaks on behalf of everybody by saying, so sorry that happened to you. Kiss. Thank you very much. Dorky says, no trauma dumping. Sorry, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. 